basically I'm doing this look and for the entire look I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills I believe this is the catwalk palette and I'm just using the colors in the palette um, yep so the very first thing that I will be doing will be to use primer and the primer that I'm using is just my Lorac behind the scenes eye primer uh, which is something that I got when I had the when I bought the Lorac I believe the smoky or something palette, which I can't recall right now what's the name. Or any base will do. I'm just using up whatever I have. So next thing I'm gonna be using will be shadow shells. So I'm just using this to actually basically because I've done my foundation, so I just want to uh, prevent it from falling on my face and also to get the shape that I want, which is that crisp line. So just laying it flat and just putting this up. Okay, so the very first color that I'm going for and the brush that I'll be using will be my MAC 242. And I'm just going in with this color here. It's just a brown color but it looks more purple than brown when you put it on. So I'm just going to pat this in the center. And the next color that I'll be using will be the black from the palette as well. You can use any black, in fact you can even use any palette that you have. And I'm just going in with my pencil Sigma, pencil E30 from Sigma. And this will be going on the outer corner. And I'm just using the tip as, or rather the shadow shield as my guide on how far I want it to be. and I'm taking some more black I'm packing this on the outer corner pretty much that's it and then the next color that I'll be using will be this gold color here from this palette and my this is my Sigma concealer F70 brush this is going to go on the inner part of the eye Okay. Now that you've come that, let me see. Now that you've come to that part, you just need to take the brush early on and just work back and forth with that so that the line will sort of fade away. Like so. Similarly for this part here, just go up and down will eventually fade away go side by side I mean side to side as well okay and the next color and the next brush that I'm using is from makeup forever this is the 216 it's just something similar to a pencil brush um, and I'm just using this really peachy shimmery color it comes up pretty much goldish peach so this is going to go on just above the line here And that's pretty much what I'm using to blend out the line here. So basically circular motions and back and forth. I'm also going to remove the shadow shell so that you can see the line that I've got. I see the line that I have gotten. So just adding more and blending it up. So 
So you will notice that the purple and the black will fit. So just continue adding. Just taking a bit more black, adding it here. As well as the purple, or rather the brown. Okay, and then taking back that brush and blending it out again. Once again, just keep repeating the steps until you get the desired effect that you want along with the right shade that you want. I'm going to use like this bone colour here. It's pretty much a pinkish white and this is just going to go on my brow bone. But then I realised it was too flat for my brow bone so I wanted something a little bit more shimmery. It was a bit flat and a bit too pink. So I went in with my MAC Dazzlelight one here like so and once again taking back the brush just blending out the edges so I found that the gold wasn't shimmery enough, so I'm going in with Max Reflex Gold Glitter and just adding this in the inner corner. I didn't use any glue or anything because I want it to be soft and not so um, put on. So it just gives a little bit of sparkle. Same with this side here. So I'm going in with eyeliner and I'm using Inglot's liquid liner in number 25 and I'm going to start from the center So for lashes, I'm using this brand called Gypsy Lashes. Uh, I've never heard of it. It's kind of new for me. I've never used it before actually. So I'm using this number 912. So it's really wispy, really dramatic. Just how I like it. Uh, but before I do anything, I'm just going to use mascara. Just any random mascara will do. And I'm just using my Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in black or black curl as they call it and I'm going to tight line my hair is annoying me so I'm just going to tight line I'm sorry if this looks scary and my lenses are still the favourite lenses that I use which is the greens Rather the green colour from Fresh Look. This looked a bit good. Yeah, so green in colour. As you can see. Yeah. So that's the one that I'm using. And just using the cool in my waterline. Okay. And um, I want the lower waterline to be more distinct. So I'm just using back my liquid liner and basically I'm tight lining directly below the line. Directly below the lash line. And I'm taking back that same black colour from the palette and this brush from Sigma which is the tight liner E16 brush and I'm just going to start filling up that overlash line. 
Oops. I'm mixing a bit of the brown as well. Or the bubble. And I'm just taking a clean brush. Basically, this is the medium angle E70 brush. Uh, I'm just going to clean up the under part of the eye. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to show you what I use on my skin. I from Camera Ready Cosmetics. So I bought like a few of this. And then the I also bought this blush from Kevin Oquan. Which is called the Creamy Glow. Okay, and this is in the color Patrice, which is a really, really intense red color. I know, you must be wondering, how the hell do you use this, right? Just use it with a brush. I'm just using my Sigma, sorry, I'm just using my Tarte brush. And then I'm just going to basically stipple it in. So you can tell I used it here, so it's not that bad. Stipple away. So it just looks like a very nice healthy glow. I think up close is different but on video it probably washed the color off. And I'm using my mineralized skin finish in double definition. Just on the cheekbone. and also on the cupid's bow okay so i'm going to use my lip liner from spice my lip liner from mac called spice and this is just gonna go uh... so the color that i'm using on my lips will be this slick cream from inglot and the color is 94. This came free when I signed up for this thing called, um, crap, I can't remember. It's Beauty Box something. Um, in Singapore, they have this like samples where they give you every month, which I cannot remember what the name of the company is. So this is just going to be on my lip. Ah, oh, I remember. It's called Bella Box. So basically, this is what I've come up with. I'm just so lazy to do anything with my hair, so it's pretty much in a bun. Uh, it's wet as well. So uh, I hope you like this look. If you do, please stay tuned and watch my videos. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye!